Welcome back here with Young Turks Transformers. Our change agent this week is a capitalist with a socialist heart. Minu Jindal is the managing director of Jindal Saw, but there's more to her than just that. She also runs an organization called Swayam with the goal to actually make our public spaces more disabled friendly. Her intention is to make Delhi, that is our capital, disabled friendly before the Commonwealth Games in 2010. Here's the story of Sminu Jindal and Swayam. Being disabled friendly, Delhi falls short of other world capitals considerably. So much so that basic amenities too are hard to come by and there is even discrimination in design. But the city's disabled have now found a crusader, Sminu Jindal. Apologic herself, Sminu with her initiative Swayam is on a mission to provide dignity to people with reduced mobility and create a barrier-free and accessible India. Having started Swayam with 11 lakh rupees from her grandfather Sitaram Jindal, Swayam's start was online in 2000. In spite of being confined to the wheelchair, Sminu has not allowed her spirit to be chained. On the contrary, she's wheeled her determination to take life head on. Swayam, after being a portal, it actually moved on to making things accessible, making the public infrastructure accessible, making the transport systems accessible, because we realized even after dissemination of information, we found that we were still very very um, limited in terms of our reach to people and that's where we felt that if you need to give dignity to a person is to give them accessible environment winner of the national tourism award of excellence by the ministry of tourism for making the kutub minar a world heritage site accessible Swayam not only aims to generate awareness about the challenges the disabled face, but has also helped mold opinion of public and policy makers in favor of public-private participation in providing accessibility to people like Samuel. I've come here three times before, but I've never been able to see the monument as I've seen today because was not accessible. So I am by making it accessible has I think done a very great job because not only me but people like me will come and be connected to their roots more. This might be her driving force, but there is more to Sminu than Swayam. Breaking the glass ceiling in the steel, oil and gas sector in India, Sminu is also the managing director of Jindal Saw, a part of the $4 billion Jindal Group. Despite the Jindal surname, Sminu had to fight her battles to realize her dream. I found a lot of challenges where it came to private people. I, after that, we started talking with the government because most of the public infrastructure, the transport systems that we were trying to concentrate upon, as a strategy to make things more easy was under various government departments. Uh, the aspect that we found very surprising was that the government was more pro uh, such uh, open thinking towards accessibility, towards inclusive environments. I was actually taken aback. One would always beat the government with a stick that you're not sensitive, but it's probably they just didn't know, you know, how to go about it. And that's where Swayam came in. And in its effort to integrate the disabled into the mainstream, Swayam offers access audits, orientation courses and hosts workshops to better equip organizations to communicate with the disabled. Swayam has also been involved in motivating corporate houses and hospitality giants like ITC and the Hyatt to incorporate accessibility in their environment. 
we cater to a large audience right from you know students who are involved in making the built infrastructure like architects if they can keep in mind the far issue you know that if they go beyond this much area then they will not get completion certificate if they ensure that you know accessibility has to form an integral part of the design then these issues will not arise During their steps, Swayam, in partnership with the Delhi Transport Corporation, is ensuring that the upcoming bus queue shelters are accessible to all. Over a thousand bus queue shelters are being modernized across the capital ahead of the Commonwealth Games in 2010. What are the other organizations Swayam is working with? We are also working with ASI. We began with Kutub and now we have World Heritage Sites of uh, Agra, New Delhi. New Delhi means after Kutub we have Lal Kila, Huma used to etc etc. And then we have Goa World Heritage Properties. Uh, that is keeping us busy for a while. We worked with NDMC to make around 260 public conveniences in their areas accessible. And next on her agenda is to sensitize tourism for the disabled in India. Armed with a passion to turn adversity into opportunity, Minu was also awarded the Woman Entrepreneur of the Year award by Fiki in 2009. It would be nice if all of us can do our bit to make our environments around us, be it schools, be it our homes, our workplaces, our recreation outlets, make, a, make all of it accessible and inclusive. Anyways, being non-inclusive is so non-cool. Meenu Jindal, thank you very much for showing us the way on how we can make our public spaces more accessible and inclusive. Remember, being inclusive is being cool. On that note, a quick commercial break, but don't go anywhere. Young Turks Transformers will return with another exciting and different business idea.